three, two, one, and action. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm really excited uh, that you could join us on this webinar tonight, on our inaugural webinar to show you something really, really so exciting that's happening in the crypto space. So leverage the power of experts. That's what tonight is all about. Instead of having our eggs all in one basket, by having them spread around into different forms of investments. Tonight is pretty much based on using Litecoin. On previous webinars that I've done, done a lot of teaching and training and everything all about um, Bitcoin. But what I'm going to show you tonight is more based on Litecoin. We can still do Bitcoin, we can do Ethereum, we can do Litecoin, but there's some specific reasons why I'm now focusing on Litecoin. I'm just going to bring up a quick little video here. I'm going to do that um, spasmodically throughout the presentation. What is Litecoin? Litecoin is a decentralized online currency created in October 2011. Litecoin can be used to purchase services, such as website development, or to buy goods, like jewelry or tea. Litecoin provides a safe and easy way for merchants to accept money, as there are no fees to receive payments and no chargebacks. All transactions are recorded on a public ledger known as the blockchain, so payments can be immediately verified. With Litecoin, you can send money anywhere in the world, to anyone, instantly. The transaction fees are considerably less than those charged by major credit card companies, traditional bank transfers, and even other digital payment processors. For example, a business in Singapore can receive a payment from a customer in San Francisco in a matter of seconds. Additionally, both parties have clear proof that the payment was sent and received. Litecoin works using secure software that allows you to make payments as easily as sending an email. You can send and store them securely on your computer or your mobile device. There will only ever be 84 million Litecoins, so you will never have to worry about inflation decreasing the value of your Litecoins. Litecoin has a stable, established marketplace consisting of many exchanges that handle tens of millions of dollars in Litecoin trades every day. You can use these trusted exchanges to trade your dollars, euros, and other fiat currencies for Litecoin. The possibilities are endless. Welcome to the future of commerce. Welcome to Litecoin. To become a part of the future and learn more about Litecoin, visit litecoin.com. Okay, so that's Litecoin. So those of you that have been on my presentations uh, before about Bitcoin, you're probably thinking, well, what's the big deal there? I mean, it's another coin. And today there's probably a couple, good couple of hundred different coins out there and new ones um, being launched all the time. But as I go through the presentation today, you'll see some differences here with Litecoin. So let's take a look at Litecoin versus Bitcoin. What is the difference between the two? Bitcoin first time was launched at 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto. No one really knows who that is. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a group of people, maybe it's aliens, nobody knows. While Bitcoin rose about 1,700% since the start of 2017, Litecoin on the other hand has risen about 7,300%. An alternative coin forked of the Bitcoin ledger in late 2011, often called the little brother of Bitcoin. Litecoin is in top 10 cryptocurrencies in terms of market caps. If Bitcoin is a gold, Litecoin, lighter and faster version of that, which is silver, the network is fast in the sense that it takes only 2.5 minutes for a transaction on the Litecoin network, in contrast to 10 minutes time for Bitcoin, that's about 4 times faster. Moreover, the total number of Litecoins in the circulation can ever existed is 84 millions. That's about 4 times the 21 million of Bitcoins. My man Chuck, the creator once quoted, The vision is always I wanted Litecoin to complement Bitcoin, not compete. Bitcoin can be useful like moving millions of dollars between banks, buying houses, buying cars. It's really secure. Litecoin on the other hand can be used for cheap things. This clearly suggests that Lee wanted Litecoin to be used for day-to-day -day transactions where security is not much of a concern. Let's talk about Chuck, the founder himself. Charlie Lee was a former Google employee and MIT graduate. He first got involved in the Bitcoin in 2011. Not long after that, in late 2011, he launched Litecoin. That being said, making an alternative coin was not his intention. He sat in a Coinbase talk it was an excuse of kind of learned Bitcoin code. He further said that he decided that he could probably create an alternative coin that's better than what's out there. So how much does one Litecoin cost? 
At the time of this video, the price of one Litecoin is around $250, and current market cap is over 13 billion. How to buy Litecoin? Usually, buying alternative coins with the fiat currency is difficult because of liquidity issues. By Litecoin being one of the oldest players among other alternative coins, and it has sufficient liquidity and it's possible to buy LTC for USD. So here's the most reliable source where you can buy LTC. Okay, so there's the difference between Litecoin and Bitcoin. There are pretty much two major points that you probably picked up there. One is its speed. Now, in the presentation, that's a little bit old now. Um, I'm looking for a, uh, a new one that we can uh, use there because it says that it's four, Litecoin is four times faster than Bitcoin. Well, it is a heck of a lot more faster than that now. Right, it was saying there that it was only, that it was taking a few minutes for uh, Bitcoin transactions to go through. Sometimes you're looking at 30 minutes to an hour for Bitcoin while you're looking at only a couple of minutes uh, with Litecoin. So it's way much faster than four times. And the price as well. Uh, that's been another issue now with Bitcoin. Bitcoin was inexpensive, and now with it um, becoming harder and harder and harder to mine, etc., etc., pricing has gone through the roof. I had a little promotion going where I was giving away um, one dollar of Bitcoin to introduce people to Bitcoin to get them started, and that was how I first got started in cryptocurrencies as well. A friend gave me one dollar of Bitcoin, and I watched it go up and up and up. And a couple of you on this call. Uh, I can recognize a few names on this call that uh, I gave you a dollar of Bitcoin as well uh, to get you started. Well, in the end, not all that long ago, I was um, gifting one dollar and it was going to cost me $27 in fees. Well, that's absolutely ludicrous, isn't it? Giving somebody a dollar and then costing 27. So how on earth could Bitcoin be used to go and make uh, everyday purchases like a cup of coffee or paying for at restaurants and so on and so on, which it was all designed to do. Right? How can you do that when you go and buy a, a $5 cup of coffee and it costs you $25 in the transaction fees? Now, last night, as an example, I transferred some Litecoin and it cost me 17 cents and the transaction was like 30 seconds for it to go through. So in that presentation, it was saying, Two and a half minutes. Well, I guess it depends on how busy things are right at that exact time. But it was only uh, it was only like thirty seconds for that to come through and actually be deposited into the account that I'm going to show you just in a moment. So there's the two key points about Bitcoin and Litecoin: uh, is the speed and the cost of transactions. There's another major point about why I prefer Litecoin. There's actually two more major points why in the investment I'm going to show you a bit later on in this presentation, but we'll come to that in a moment. So we can see here the top 10 cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin up the top, of course. Then we've got Ethereum, and Ethereum is uh, one that we can trade. We can trade uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin in the system that uh, I'm going to show you tonight. And when I say trade, I shouldn't say that because we're not actually trading it. Right? We have partners that go and trade it for us, which I'll show you there. So. In the presentation before, you could see that uh, Litecoin was number six. Well, now Litecoin is number five. So have a look at some of those figures there. Now look at the market cap, and then look at the volume in the last 24 hours. Now this screenshot was taken today, and of course that varies from time to time, but uh, look, at the look at the correlation there of the volume in the last 24 hours to the market cap. So Litecoin had turned over 575 million out of a 10 billion market cap. And look at the next one above that, Bitcoin Cash. All right, 18.5 billion there. All right, so that's nearly double the market cap of Litecoin, but it actually traded less. And then look at Ripple, triple the amount. Ripple is 31 billion cap, market cap there, but it only turned over 356 million in the last 24 hours. Of course, we slide up then to uh, Ethereum, and Ethereum is going absolutely fantastic. That trades really well too. And of course, the granddaddy of them all, Bitcoin. Look at those numbers up there. Uh, absolutely incredible. It still has massive volume and a massive market cap there. 
So when I say before, you know, Ripple as an example, only doing 356 million. Now it's so funny when you uh, see on social media and so on about saying how, or oh, um, you know, Bitcoin and all this crypto stuff, it's it's just a fad and it's going away and yada yada yada. But you look at the volumes, so we just keep increasing more and more and more. And if you added up the top 10, you added up that volume, how many billions of dollars a day are trading the cryptos? So crypto is not going anywhere. So it's going to build stronger and stronger and stronger. Sure, prices go up and down, but that's a total different kettle of fish, isn't it? And we'll cover that shortly. The richest people in the world are all talking about Bitcoin. You've got Gates, you've got Branson, you've got so many people. If you go and have a look on YouTube, um, type in there, richest people talking about Bitcoin, richest people talking about uh, cryptocurrencies, and go and have a look at some of the interviews and so forth in there. You know, people like uh, Bill Gates and Richard Branson, well, I think they're kind of a little bit successful in their business and um, for them to be involved, well, that says something, doesn't it? And so Richard says here, anyone who waits to get into Bitcoin will regret it his whole life. And now he's probably changing that a little bit and saying into crypto um, because there's so many different uh, coins out there now. Now, the swings of Bitcoin. So for those of us that are you that are on the call this that have been uh, with me for a while on uh, crypto, we've seen some massive swings in Bitcoin. We saw it almost hit 20,000. And then today is March the 13th, 2018. And we're hovering around the nine to 10,000 mark. So about half of what it, got, what it reached in its peak. When was that peak? About December or something like that. Right. Now, that's very common for um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin swings up and down. It had like six swings last year in two, 2017 where it plummeted 30 to 60 odd percent six times before it then rebounded and went up and made um, record profits or record highs again. So that is the nature of cryptos. Cryptos are up and down all the time. You see Bitcoin going down and when that goes down, most of the others kind of follow. Some lose at a faster rate, some lose at a um, high, um, slower rate, and the same when it starts going up again. Different ones go up at different speeds. That's all the nature of the beast with it going up and down. We don't really focus much on the price of Bitcoin all right, or the price of any of the cryptos. And again, tonight is more so about Litecoin. So we don't really focus on the price of Litecoin um, because I'm going to show you how we actually earn daily returns on our Litecoin. So over a longer period of time, and that's really what we should be looking at here, guys. Don't look at this as a short-term thing um, unless you want to go uh, and stare at charts and trade it all day long. If you want a passive income, which is what I do because I have my other core business, my easy marketer business that I focus most of my time on every day, and then, of course, my family that I focus on as well. So I don't want to be sitting there staring at uh, charts and having... Uh, Maalox and all the other stress um, stress drugs to try to help me um, get my heart out of my throat when I see it going up and down all the time. Don't care about that. I just get a passive daily income out of this. I'm going to show you that in a moment. So there is no better time than now. All right, start investing in Litecoin today. Have a look at that chart there, guys, um, where it peaked up around 300 odd, nearly 400. Uh, and today uh, we're now channeling sideways. You can see on the far right hand side there, we're looking around $180. Um, scroll back a bit. Um, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse on the screen. You should be able to see that there. So we can see here Litecoin has been going sideways for a good uh, period of time and then it just skyrocketed up. Uh, like Bitcoin did and like all the other coins did and then it's slowly been coming, not so much slowly, but over the last few months it's been going down, coming up a bit going down now she's sitting stagnant uh, on the side but again if we can earn a daily income and then compound our returns which i'm going to show you shortly the price is pretty much irrelevant except for the fact the fact that now with it being so inexpensive only being 180 dollars a coin compared with bitcoin being around ten thousand dollars so we can see we get a much bigger bang for our buck at 180 dollars compared with ten thousand for one coin now, what I'm going to show you tonight, you don't need to invest a whole coin, and I'll go through that in more details uh, shortly. So how do we buy Litecoin? Right, you have to open up an account with an exchange like Coinbase, CoinSpot, or Coin 
Coin Mama. Uh, you can see there I've got Coin Jar crossed out. So for the Australians on the call, you're probably familiar with Coin Jar. It's one of the most popular Coin Jar, uh, one of the most popular uh, wallets, crypto wallets in Australia. Although they have something really, really quirky with their uh, Litecoin. They have some correlation with Litecoin and uh, Bitcoin. I don't exactly get understand as yet uh, exactly what the problem is. But when I show you uh, how we make our money shortly, the uh, our partner actually advises us not to use CoinJar. Right? So I've used both uh, Coinbase and CoinSpot with this opportunity, and both of them go through uh, extremely uh, quick with that. And I'll show you our team website uh, shortly, and uh, it goes into further detail on there about your uh, the different wallets and so forth. And Coin Mama down the bottom is a, a good one for uh, globally for people all around the world, uh, where you can actually uh, buy your Litecoin uh, with a credit card, not a, an actual bank account. So how do we spend our Litecoin and our Bitcoin? So it's all well and good to go and make uh, money out of this. So we exchange our fiat currency, our Aussie dollars, our Kiwi dollars, our Thai baht. Uh, I'm based here in Thailand. Uh, if those of you, on, some of you on the call may not know uh, me, I'm actually based in uh, beautiful Thailand. Then we've got others on the call in the US. So, uh, you know, uh, how are you going to spend your US dollars? You exchange it for your Litecoin. We make some profit out of that. Well, there's all sorts of um, ways to be able to spend it. One of it is to um, be able to get one of the cards that are available. Uh, they're generally Visa cards that are out there. Most of them, though, are attached to Bitcoin. So what you would do when you earn your Litecoin profits and you um, go and want to cash out, you then transfer the Litecoin to your Litecoin wallet and then transfer it from Litecoin across to Bitcoin and you can use a card. Or you can just go and transfer your Litecoin straight into, uh, convert it into Australian dollars or Kiwi dollars or US dollars or whatever and then bank it back through your bank account. Numerous different ways that we can spend it. If you've got an, uh, a Bitcoin ATM near you, and there's thousands of ATMs being rolled out throughout the world. Most of them are just Bitcoin, all right? So again, you can just transfer your Litecoin across to Bitcoin and then use the ATMs to um, go and cash out or even deposit. A lot of ATMs and uh, Bitcoin ATMs enable you to make a deposit where you can go and put uh, cash into the ATM and it'll convert it into Bitcoin and put it straight into your Bitcoin wallet, which is pretty cool. Here in Thailand, both Thailand and Philippines, at the 7-Elevens uh, stores, there's a 7-Eleven on every corner. We joke about that actually here in Thailand. Some corners have four 7-Elevens, some of the hotspot tourist areas. I've seen where there's been four on a crossroad where there's been four 7-Elevens. It's crazy. Uh, 11 odd thousand, I think it is. Uh, 7-Eleven stores throughout Thailand, where you can go and send money to a seven, your local 7-Eleven store. And if we take it, for example, here in Thailand, where a lot of the kids go off to the, you know, country kids go off to the cities to work, and then they send money home to mum and dad each month. And uh, instead of before with all the expenses with banks and uh, Western Union and so on, they can just go and transfer it to the local 7-Eleven store send a SMS to their parents to um, go down to uh, the 7-Eleven, give, give them a code, they punch it into the uh, cash register, and then um, they hand them over the cash. So it's awesome for people that are unbanked. And I know that um, everybody that's on this call tonight, or most of us that are on this call tonight, um, live in the Western world, but in a lot of third world countries, they don't have bank accounts. They don't trust banks. They don't understand why put your money in the bank when the bank's just going to charge me fees. That's ludicrous. Why on earth would you put money in the bank? I have that argument with uh, people arguing me with that in uh, Laos and Thailand and Cambodia, where they're all saying, why have it in the bank? Cash is king. So then they've had to use things like Western Union to be able to transfer money around or get ripped off by the banks when they go to transfer it. So uh, this certainly helps people in the uncashed world. A lot of uh, the different wallets have apps where you can go and send a request for money. So somebody owes you some money and they can go and send you the Bitcoin or whatever coin across to your wallet. Um, you can manage your balances and transfer between different currencies and you can cash out to a debit card or to your bank account off some of those apps. So the technology is really going leaps and bounds. 
So how do we actually make our money? Instead of just buying Bitcoin and wishing and hoping and praying that it goes up and then um, seeing it, you know, a little bit like um, Bitcoin before, buy at 10,000 and goes up to 20,000 and sell it and think, wow, I'm a, I'm a guru now. I've made so much money out of my Bitcoin. Or be like other people that have bought in at 20,000 and now it's 10. And then everybody else, all the doubting Thomases are out there saying, see, I told you that Bitcoin stuff is no good. Look, you've gone and lost 50% of your money. Okay, so what do you do? Do you just buy it and hold and hope and wish and pray it goes up? Or would you like to earn a regular daily income? Um, help me out here, guys. Motivate me. Pop it into the chat. Who wants to earn a daily income? So type into the chat box for me so I can see that you're still on the call with me. Show me the money. Put something in there and motivate me. Good on you, Brian. Yep, excellent, mate. Anybody else? James, yep, you're with us. Where's Jim? Our American Jim. You still with? Yep, good on you, buddy. I thought you won the lotto, the lottery last week. Now, Greg needs a beer. Excellent, mate. It's beer o'clock here for me too. Um, what a sacrifice I'm doing here. It's 4.30 in the afternoon here. Oh, actually, I've got 30 minutes to go. It's nearly beer o'clock, 5 o'clock. So I'll have to speed this up so we can get finished by then. Okay, so how do we make money? What do we do with this? Not only is this about making money, but it's about minimizing the risk, guys. Now, there's no point um, having something so high risk where you're buying it at one price and then next minute you've gone and lost 50% or more of your money. Right? Um, I don't know about you, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm not prepared to risk my family's money with something like that. So I want to introduce you tonight to a relatively new company called iCenter. And iCenter is short for your investment center. Their mission statement is to become a recognized and trusted investment center. And I'll tell you guys, when I, I've been watching these, these guys for quite some time now. I've had uh, quite a few people um, trying to get me to uh, be involved with this. And as I'm sure you can appreciate, I'm, I am on so many emailing lists and I get bombarded um, dozens and dozens of times every day with opportunities. So I've been watching this for, for quite some time and uh, I tell you, I am absolutely convinced uh, that this is the way to go and I'm sure after you see this just in a moment uh, that you will be as well. So the problem is though guys, a big percentage of online businesses are just camouflage scams to steal your money. Their main objective is to take as much as possible and pay out as little as possible. And it's getting harder and harder to distinguish the honest businesses from all of the scams around. You can see on that infographic on the side there, in the top left it's saying in 2016, $1.33 billion uh, were lost from victims of online scams. Well, that's probably just the uh, reported ones, the ones that have been reported to the authorities, but what about all the other scams that uh, haven't been rec reported out there? Now. Um, the statement I'm about to make now is not fact. Well, we don't know if it's fact or fiction or whatever as yet. If we look at uh, companies like USI, um, again, most of us have been involved in USI and it was paying out really well. Now it hasn't been paying out. Now it's starting to pay out a little bit. And um, so many people are saying it's a scam. We don't really know, right? And that's the honest truth. And I'll cover more about uh, that when, this, uh, when we finish the official uh, part of this uh, presentation tonight. Um, so it's just getting harder and harder and harder to know if things are real and things aren't uh, real. But I guess the internet is fantastic with forums and uh, so forth to be able to look at the different forums out there, do your Googles, do your due diligence and see what the marketplace says. I tell you, you put iCenter in there and you go and uh, Google that and look around the different forums and that uh, and I doubt very much you're going to find anything negative uh, there at all. iCenter are doing something pretty unique. Right, to eliminate scams, or not eliminate them, but to be able to protect our investments and uh, a little bit uh, from the scams. And I'm going to show you that just in a moment. But I've got another quick little video to play here that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. You might recognize one of the guys on this video. I don't want to make it tough. I just want to tell you that I've had enough. It might sound crazy, but it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. 
Now, iCenter have certainly created something very unique uh, and an absolute game changer in the uh, crypto world. And that's what I'm going to introduce you to now. So the solution, a system spreading investments in various different projects, so the returns originate from over 20 different businesses in various areas of engagement. So if one project fails, the loss gets covered by all the other projects. We call it the perfect business. So let's think about that for a moment. If our funds are pulled into a big master fund, and then the fund manager which is iCenter, so they're a fund manager, a little bit like you know, all the other fund managers around the, around the world where people go and pull their funds and they go invested in the stock market or in the commodities and so on. Well, iCenter invests it uh, into at least 20 different businesses. And I'm going to show you each of those businesses in a moment. So let's say one of them does go rogue. So if there's 20 of them and the funds are um, pulled and diversified across the 20 of them when one of them goes rogue, right? We've seen it in so many different things out there. If one goes rogue, we're only talking 5% of our investment. Now comparing that to going alone, if we go to do it ourselves and we go to invest in uh, 20 different businesses, well then of course we're going to need a lot more capital to be able to do that. So some milestones here for um, iCenter. Just to give you an idea of how much uh, they've grown and where they're headed to. You see on the left hand side at the top here, January 2017, the idea was born. So just over 12 months ago. In February 2017, the company was registered. In April, the idea got tested and four out of five people failed. Their technology failed and their technology is incredible. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you tonight. In May, the idea got for, uh, reformulated. And in July, the idea succeeded. Five out of five, it succeeded. So then it was launched on the 6th of July, 2017. In August, there were over 2,000 um, people registered with over 25 Bitcoin invested. Because when they first started, it was only Bitcoin. Uh, then in December, they reached uh, their target of 10,000 affiliates. And then in December, they launched their light Bot. The light bot is Litecoin, so then they've got uh, two bots there now, Bitcoin and Litecoin. And what is a bot? Uh, a bot is an app that you can put on your phone, right? and well, instead of me telling you, I'll actually show it to you and then it'll make more sense shortly. January this year, 2018, 21,000 affiliates on the Bitcoin bot um, with over, over 18, uh, what do we got there, 18,000 using the uh, Litecoin bot February over 133 Bitcoin uh, has been uh, deposited. March uh, is the planned launch of a new bot, and it's actually just happened right now. The new bot, their Ethereum bot, was launched um, this week, so it is brand new. So those of you who have got some on the call uh, with me tonight that have already got started with me, and a couple of people have said that their uh, Ethereum bot isn't working as yet. They're just rolling that out with numbers. Now, they're not rolling out where they've got tens of thousands of people to be able to use it every day. So um, just be patient with that over the next few days or so, or the next couple of weeks, right, that uh, the Ethereum bot's going to be rolled out. Um, so in May, they're projecting they want to have 50,000 uh, partners registered. And then in July, another new bot. Now, I'm not sure, sure what that one's going to be. And I'm going to explain the differences uh, shortly about um, why we would use um, any or all of those three bots, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Right? Um, and July is going to be the uh, first year anniversary. In, by December, they want to be, become officially recognized for at least one of the partners as a trusted platform. That will make more sense in a moment when I go through the partners with you. And then in the December, they want to reach 150,000 
uh, registered partners. And they're certainly on target with that because this is going in leaps and bounds. It is totally sustainable, this business, as you're going to see in a moment. So there are five different investment areas okay, where they invest in. Uh, crypto mining, the cryptocurrencies, uh, mining is one of the hottest trends of all times. There's lots of different companies and lots of different opportunities out there with crypto mining. So it's all diversified. Then we've got trading, um, stocks, forex, uh, cryptocurrencies and more. Our expert partners trade in it all. So again, do you see that guys? Expert partners. So it's not iCenter doing this. They are partnering with different companies that are experts in their particular field and spreading our pooled funds around to having different people or different companies, I should say, partnering with us to be able to trade the money for us. They exchange with the growing number of different currency types. Uh, the exchange world is growing huge. Uh, sports betting. Now, that's a really interesting one. Uh, specifically, the arbitrage uh, betting has been used for years. We leverage the top performing managers. Now, uh, you ought to Google that. Uh, if you don't know what uh, arbitrage sports betting is, pretty incredible where you can have two different uh, companies giving different odds um, where, uh, well, I'm not gonna go into that, otherwise this uh, webinar is gonna go for hours tonight, but just Google that and find out about sports betting arbitrage. It's, it's pretty incredible and the results are awesome with that. Network marketings and hypes have high risk but also offer very high returns. And I'm gonna show you the return shortly. So if there is something out there and they, that's generating really high returns, you know, like what USI was doing before and um, BitConnect and uh, so many others that were giving out massive uh, returns, but then unfortunately, a lot of them are not sustainable and they fall over. So we capitalize by having our funds spread across on the numerous different partners and capitalize on getting those high gains compared with having all your eggs in one basket. So the power of leverage, guys, is what this is all about. By using over 20 different projects, we benefit from experts in all areas of engagement. I don't know if you just heard that ding again then, but I get pretty excited now when my phone interrupts me. A little da ding, da ding, da ding. That was more profits being paid uh, into uh, my Litecoin bot which I'll show you what that's about in a moment. And I know that some of you are on the phone, uh, some of you that are on the call uh, with us today too, have been saying to me, they get ex so excited when um, uh, their phone just keeps dinging, letting us know that more profits have been put into our account. So who do we work with? You can find a full list of unofficial partners on our website, iCenter.co. Right, so on the right hand side there, you can see some uh, big name players over there. They're an example of some of them. Um, Genesis Mining, Surebet, Hashflare, eToro, uh, and so forth on there. Full list of uh, current partners. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about iCenter is their full transparency. They, are, they have full transparency about where every dollar goes, where every dollar of profit has come from, and the whole distribution, what they charge, what they keep, and so forth. Everything is transparent, and on our reports, you can see every single day where all the dollars have gone. Total transparency. And that's total transparency across all of the partners. Now, what they've done with transparency with their partners, let me just bring up the website for a sec, right, where we can see the partners list. They expose the scams. Unfortunately, something might look good, and then um, we find out afterwards that it was actually a scam and it falls over. So then we dust ourselves off and we keep moving on and find other partners to go and replace that with. And what they do here on their site, if I scroll down here, we can see all the uh, different partners that they're, uh, uh, they're involved in at the moment. So we can see on the right hand side is paying yes or no or whether it's going to report it as a scam just recently. Okay, so we can see up here Genesis Cloud Mining, yes, Hashflare, yes, eToro, yes, uh, and so forth here. Uh, Crypto Solutions has just been reported as a scam. Then we keep scrolling down, all different ones on here. Look at this, even ClickFunnels. Some of you might know ClickFunnels um, as a um, competitor of my core business, actually, my easy market. ClickFunnels helps uh, people to be able to create uh, websites and funnels for websites. So, so you can see here that um, iCenter 
diversify into numerous different areas. So you think, well, how do they make money out of ClickFunnels? So they're involved in their affiliate program and across their website and other things that they do, they'll have ads on there and people go and click on the ad and they get paid per click or paid when people subscribe. So even off advertising, our funds are pulled across advertising. So they go and create different websites, put all the um, different ads on there and generate an income from that. Uh, here's another one, BTC clock. That's a scam. Uh, Global dynamic marketing. No, it's not paying at the moment. They've got problems. Um, Orium Bank, scam. Uh, USI Tech, right, having problems as we know. Right, here's some other scams and, uh, and some others that are paying out. So there's well over 20 in here that uh, is still paying out on here and they're adding more in all the time and deleting others out if they're not performing. Now, the transparency that they give us with this is really cool. Okay, as you can see down the bottom, you are more than welcome to register with any of them directly. Just remember, you are doing it at your own risk. All right, so they're not recommending these for you to go there uh, and do it. And look, all these in blue, they actually provide the links. All right, the links to go off and see those companies. And if you wish to invest yourself with them individually, go for it. Or you do what I've done and become part of their pooled funds. And then our funds are then spread across into over 20 different uh, unofficial partners and all of those funds are pooled. So how are we going there so far? Um, does that sound good? Being spread across into all those different opportunities and do you, do you like the transparency where they even show you um, what they are? So uh, type in the chat box, let me know how we're going there so far, guys. Um, so even providing links to the different companies so you can go and check them all out and so forth. But again, what I love about this is that I don't have to go and invest in uh, more than 20 different companies and, and spread it around. <coughs> Excuse my voice, guys. And um, spread it around to um, numerous different companies and having to manage all of that and keep an eye on them all and having separate accounts with them all and transferring money in, transferring money out. We've got one area that we transfer to and they do it all for us. Is that cool or is that cool? Okay, who's going to give me a big... Uh, high five here in the chat box. Keep me motivated, guys, to keep empowering you. Okay. So why? Why do we need people? Okay. If the opportunity is so good, why doesn't the company just do it all themselves? Why do they need you and I to be involved as well? Well, it's pretty ingenious what they've done, actually, guys. Uh, the business model works. It's stable, it's reliable, and it's secure. We don't need people to generate profit. On another hand, more people joining our platform means more deposits and we get more unofficial partners that we add providing us a more stable system and higher level of leverage, resulting in further reliability, stability and security to everyone involved. So that's pretty cool guys. The bigger the fund gets, the more diversification that we have. Is that cool or is that cool? Now, have a look at that. Wow, pretty impressive, isn't it? Um, this is um, uh, February's report, and then it show, always shows on the far side the previous month uh, what's happened on there as well. Right. Every month they give us a full report. If we look on the left-hand side, day one, two, three, four, five, and so forth, um, it spreads it all down across uh, every single day showing uh, the investment diversification, how much is in mining, how much is in trading, sports, exchange, other projects, the partners, um, what sort of, re what returns have been in there every single day. And I want to zoom down here in a bit and have a look at this down on the bottom right hand corner because what you're going to see shortly is how we earn an awesome daily return. And some people think, nah, there's no way known. You can't earn that every single day. We'll have a look at this. And what we're going to focus on is in the blue, I've shaded that in the corner here, because that's showing the return all added up from every day. It shows the daily returns here, and then what the total amount is, and then showing you a split up in between all the different sectors that the funds are invested in. You make this bigger. And a bit bigger. And they report this to us every month, and we can see the returns on every single day. Have a look at this down the bottom, you guys. 148% return. So just think about that for a moment. 
Think about that a little bit later. Just lock that into the back of your mind and you can look at that on the reports on every single month and see the returns that are in there every month and see how much we earn and how much the company earns and so forth in there because it shows their management fees and everything all coming out of that fund. Um, we can see up in here their 5% admin and marketing fee that they get and so forth. So just remember that 148% return for a little bit uh, later in the presentation. So the bots, how do they work? Well, first off, we've got the Bitcoin bot. Step one, you need to get the Telegram um, app. Now, I'll go into that in a little bit more detail shortly. It's an absolutely incredible technology. And then you also need to have the um, iCenter Bitcoin bot. Step two is to invest in Bitcoin with your uh, using the address that they provide us with. And the third one is to earn. We earn every six hours for 120 days. So every six hours we get paid, guys. So every six hours we're going to hear a ding on our phone showing it, letting us know that more profits have been put into our account. Now down the bottom, by investing with iCenter, you earn 1.2% per day over 120 days. Paid every six hours and it's withdrawable from only 0.01 Bitcoin. So that works the same on both reinvesting or withdrawing. So every six hours, you're going to receive a quarter of 1.2% right into your account. And then when your account balance is greater than 0.01 Bitcoin, you can withdraw or you can reinvest. So imagine the compounding returns. That's what we've liked in other programs in the past that we've been involved in. We've been able to compound our returns because the power of compounding is incredible. And we loved that before with the other opportunity that we were involved in where we were compounding every day. Well, imagine being able to compound every six hours. That's four times a day. Phenomenal. Litecoin bot, how does that work? Same as the Bitcoin bot does. All right, we need to get Telegram app and put the Litecoin bot uh, on the app invest in Litecoin, and then there's a big difference here. We're still going to earn every six hours, but for 99 days. So what was the other one? 120 days? So Bitcoin was 120 days at 1.2% per day. But Litecoin, by investing with iCenter.co, you earn 1.4% over 99 days. So that's paid every six hours and withdrawable from 0.1 Litecoin. So this is one reason why I prefer the Litecoin bot compared with the Bitcoin bot, because we get paid back in only 99 days instead of 120 days. We're going to earn 1.4% every day paid every six hours. And I'm going to, I'll show you on mine shortly with that. So that's point. Uh, three five percent every six hours. So again, this is why I prefer the Litecoin bot. And the other reason too is that Litecoin is only $180 at the moment per coin. So you can invest just 0.1 Litecoin. So we're looking at less than $20 to be able to uh, get started. So it's totally affordable for everybody. So simplicity is the key. Deposit and earn. Refer and earn more. Now I'm going to show you the referral program shortly. Actually, why don't I show it to you right now? So refer and earn. Now you don't need to do this, guys. You can just purely invest yourself. But if you want to refer, you can earn extra. There are three levels of compensation on the iCenter Bitcoin bot and four levels of compensation on the iCenter Lite bot, as you can see on the right hand side. So First one here is Bitcoin, on Bitcoin level one. So that's your personal introductions. Your personal introductions, you will earn 10%, 10% return on that. Now, that is every single time that that person invests and reinvests. So when every six hours, when you earn more money that comes into your account and you go to reinvest, well, then they pay commission out on that as well. So 10% for both Bitcoin and Litecoin on the first levels. Second level, both pay out 3%. The third level, they both pay out 1%, but on Litecoin, they actually pay out on four levels. 
Now, if anybody's been involved in network marketing or anything like that in the past, you know that um, the further down, the greater uh, leverage that we get there and the, um, as more and more and more people come up, become involved. So there's another reason why I prefer the Litecoin bot. One, it's cheaper to be involved. Two, it pays out more quicker, more quicker. It pays out more and it pays out quicker. It's actually two sentences there. And uh, thirdly is that the referral program uh, pays out more on that as well. Now the, the brand new Ethereum bot pays out exactly the same as the Litecoin bot. So why would I, uh, why would we do the Ethereum bot? Well, uh, the returns are the same, the, it pays out four levels. Again, personally, I prefer the Litecoin bot because it's only $180 for Litecoin compared with whatever Ethereum is at the moment, six, $700 or whatever it is. Um, I've forgotten exactly how much that is. So how do we get paid? Bitcoin is the most used cryptocurrency of all times. You can easily sell it or exchange it for any fiat currency. There is also the companies offering Bitcoin Visa and MasterCards, like I showed you earlier. Now, Litecoin is a peer-to-peer -peer internet currency that enables instant and near zero cost payments. Like I mentioned earlier, last night I made a payment and it only cost me 17 cents to send those funds. Right, to anyone in the world, Litecoin is a proven medium of commerce complementary to Bitcoin. So what do I do now? Do I get involved or don't I get involved? And what options do I have? Uh, James is asking about early uh, withdrawals or any um, penalty for withdrawals. No, not at all, mate. So every day or every six hours we get paid. <clears throat> and if we're using the Litecoin bot, um, as soon as you've got more than 0.1 of Litecoin, you can withdraw that. So you could make withdrawals every six hours if you're getting more than uh, 0.1 uh, a Litecoin into your account, which is only twenty odd dollars. So if you're making more than twenty dollars, so then it depends on how much you've actually invested in there. Because what they actually do, they're returning your principal as well as the return in there. So at the end of ninety nine days, the deal's over, right? And then a new contract uh, is made. Um, or every day, if you reinvest, you get more and more contracts, which I'm going to show you on that uh, shortly. So absolutely no penalty to be able to withdraw. Okay, so what do I do now? Do you want to be involved? Do you want to sit on the fence? Do you want to get involved? Do you want to start earning um, a daily return or four, four returns per day every six hours? So if you want to get involved with us, step one is you need to install the Telegram app on your phone. This is incredible technology, guys. I didn't realize all the things you can do with Telegram. I thought it was just another app like Line and Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp and all the million and 10 other messaging apps out there. But it's absolutely incredible because you can actually program things to work in the background on a Telegram app, which I'm going to show you just in a moment. And our Litecoin and Bitcoin and Ethereum apps all work on the Telegram platform. So first off, you need to install it on your phone and then it connects uh, that's kind of your authentication is going to be your phone number. That's your ID. So it's pretty cool. We don't need to upload copies of passports or anything like that. The phone is actually your ID. So you, once you've got it on your phone, um, Telegram actually have uh, web apps. So you can go and um, use it as a, on the web browser. Uh, if you're a Mac user, they have an iOS version. Uh, you can use it on tablets. You can use it on whatever. But you first off, you have to do it on your actual, actual phone. So step two is to install the three bots on your tele, Telegram account. Now look on the left hand side here, and this is a little bit fuzzy because I had to uh, uh, expand a small uh, screenshot there. Uh, we can see here that we've got the iCenter Lite bot, and then the iCenter one below, the iCenter.co, that one is the actual Bitcoin bot. You can see here BTC just on there, because that was the first one. Uh, that they created, and it was only going to be Bitcoin. That's why it wasn't called the iCenter um, Bitcoin bot. It was only iCenter bot. And then below we can see the uh, Ethereum bot, brand new one that's come out just now. All right, we can see here your information is not found, right, and so forth, because it's just launching right now. Now, if we look on the right-hand side here, we can see your account balance, and this is on the Ethereum one there. 
So there's no funds uh, in my account. My total investments, there's none. Total earnings, there's none. But it gives you a break up on everything, right, for every one of those bots when you click on them. And it shows you on here every time too of what the rate of return is, 1.4% per day or 0.35% every six hours. If you do want to get involved with us, uh, we have a uh, team website that I'm building. I'm working on that um, furiously to uh, get more and more resources on there uh, for you. So uh, get in contact with the person that invited you on the webinar uh, tonight and then they will be able to uh, give you a uh, the link to our team website and on there uh, it shows all the step by step what to do the step one install the telegram app step two install all three bots uh, deposit into uh, your litecoin bitcoin or ethereum bot whichever ones you use okay then from here for the marketing team you can read all about that here you can share with your friends if you wish all right again it's not as we say on here no recruiting or sponsoring is required to earn the six hourly bot payments on your investment. So if you want to refer family and friends, etc., you can. If you don't want to, that's fine too. You're still going to get a great return. Uh, how to reinvest your returns, right? Embrace compounding uh, interest. So imagine that, guys, being able to compound four times a day. Incredible. I'm working with one of our other team members building a uh, spreadsheet at the moment. Unfortunately, I'm not really good with spreadsheets, but uh, he is, so um, we're tossing around some ideas and, and that's going to be uh, released to our team members a little bit later and the results are incredible. Right? Compounding every uh, six hours, four times a day. Okay, some marketing ideas uh, that we have uh, by giving away uh, free Bitcoin, uh, sorry, free Litecoin to uh, get people started. Uh, how to install the bots, this video is coming soon. How to purchase Litecoin, I recorded that video showing you how to do that in your uh, Litecoin wallet, how to deposit into your bot. So we've got videos to show you all of those. How to reinvest, that video is coming soon. How to withdraw, that'll be there soon too. All right, I've been just working furiously uh, getting all this um, up. Just hoping to have it all ready for tonight's webinar. But over the next week, this will all be totally completed. Uh, how to get your referral link. Some frequently asked questions and so forth uh, on here. Uh, this uh, website is part of our uh, marketing team, so if you want to have the website as well, um, speak to the uh, person that invited you along to the webinar and uh, tonight, and then we'll be able to uh, get you up and running with this as well, where this can all be customised with your picture in here, uh, your Facebook details, your email address, uh, and so forth on here, your phone number, if you want that on there. Then up on the top, as a resource, we'll be able to look at the weekly webinars up here. You'll be able to see the webinar replays. Let me just open that. Okay, so you'll be able to register on here for the different uh, webinars that are coming up, and then we're going to have replays on the bottom uh, here as well. So wallet providers, uh, links in there, how to grow your business, all other resources and so forth. Uh, they on our team website that we're building. So we're all here to work together to be able to uh, help each other all succeed. So some key points to consider here. One, it is simple, such a simple business. We have no outgoings as business, all right? So two point, parts are looking at this. One, as being an investor, and two, is having a business and building a business and building a network of people all around the world because anybody on the planet can get involved with this. So I haven't seen anything that has any age restrictions. There's no ID because the ID is done through your telephone, right? so it's got to be run through your phone, plus all of the wallet providers um, require your ID anyway, so iCenter doesn't require uh, any ID, which is really, really nice. They don't know your uh, personal details. There are no monthly commitments, so it's not like something that you have to subscribe to every month. Um, look how inexpensive that is, 20 bucks and you're in the game. So that's what I suggest tonight, guys. Get involved. Speak to the person that invited you to the webinar tonight. Right. Um, well, first off, we get uh, Telegram. Right. Just look at that on the um, Google Play Store or the um, Apple uh, App Store. Right. Get Telegram. Then speak to the person that invited you tonight, and they will give you the three bots to be able to install onto your phone, and you're up and running for as little as $20. Dip your toes in the water, see how it all works, 
20 bucks, a couple of hundred bucks, a couple of grand, whatever you feel comfortable with, and you can just keep building on that uh, as your comfort level gets up. And again, the withdrawals, 0.1%, uh, sorry, 0.1 Litecoin. So uh, 20, got more than 20 bucks in there, you can withdraw it. Got more than 20 bucks in there, you can go and reinvest that 20 bucks. It's duplicatable. I'm going to be running these webinars every week, so you'll be able to invite people along to the webinar, and then they can see our presentation. Plus, we're going to uh, have other tools with landing pages, uh, with webinar replays, um, people opt in to go and watch it, then have autoresponders built in to be able to follow up uh, with those people for you as well. So you can put your, um, put your business on autopilot. Number six is really, really cool. You get results from day one. Guys, we're not putting money into an investment having to wait a month, six months, 12 months to get a return. Day one. It's actually in six hours time. If you get involved now, funded your account, in six hours time from your account uh, being funded, then goes your phone and there's profits into, into your account. So welcome to iCenter, guys. Join us today. And before I close off, here's an awesome quote from Steve Jobs. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. And personally for me, many people have asked me, why am I distracting myself from my core business, from my easy marketer business? Because I've fallen in love with this stuff, guys. I love crypto. Uh, I built a great business uh, with USI, and we'll talk more about that when we finish the webinar shortly. Built a great business with that, started earning a great income, and then I started having some issues there with that. But I fell in love with it. This is my real passion that I'm finding now. As you can see with the website that I've been working on, I'm building and putting videos together. My goal is to be able to work with you and empower you and that's what is so cool about it being a network, guys. And what's, that's why it's so cool that they do have a referral program because everybody has an incentive to help each other. If you get involved with me, if you get involved with the person that invited you, we are all going to work with you and help you and teach you how to do this. And you can contact us all direct and so on because the more successful you become, the more successful we become. It's just an absolute perfect win-win. I would love to be able to welcome you on board. So those of you that uh, I invited personally along to the webinar tonight, uh, shoot me um, a message, whether it's Facebook Messenger, whether it's email, uh, those that have been invited by somebody else, um, shoot them a message. Just get involved, as you saw before. You can test it out from as little as $20. The price of a pizza or a couple of beers, all right? You can, uh, you can get involved. So I'm gonna finish off the official part of the presentation now, um, and then uh, we can open it up to other questions.